always check the back seat of your car at night. I used to have one of those big cars they don't make anymore with huge seats. At night it would always make me nervous getting into the car because the back seat was so big and dark that there could easily have been someone hiding in there on the floor and I wouldn't have seen them when getting in. I could have turned on the interior light and checked every time I got in, except the light was burned out and I was too lazy and cheap to replace it. To make matters worse the guy I bought the car from said it was haunted. Some family had died in there from carbon monoxide in their garage or something like that. So one day I had to take my 5 year old son to the dentist. He liked to sit in the back where he could lie down on the seat. He was also a little prankster and he hated to go to the dentist above all. It was a long drive and we had an early appointment. It was still dark when I rounded him up and we headed out to get in the car. I put him in the back and closed the door. I had to jiggle the battery cable to get it started but I eventually got the car on the road. I have trouble driving at night so I have to pay attention every second. It's called night blindness but I only have it a little bit. I can still drive at night but what I have trouble doing is taking my eye off the road even for a second. We were on a dark and deserted stretch of road which cut through the forest when I felt my son Davy in the back seat, running his finger up and down the back of my neck. I shouted for him to stop. He stopped for a minute and then started it again. Up and down the back of my neck. Up and down. It was really annoying and distracting. No matter how much I told him to stop he kept doing it. What's worse is about halfway there he started making strange noises from the back seat. First he started breathing heavy and then he started growling like an angry dog. I was so mad by the time we got to the dentist's office, I got out of the car as soon as I put it in park and swung the back seat door open ready to give him an earful. But Davy wasn't there. The back seat was empty. Now there's no way he could have gotten out in the time between my stopping the car and opening the back door. I instinctively called back to my house where Davy picked up the phone. My blood ran cold and I wouldn't get back in that car ever again. I called for an Uber instead. Turned out my son had crawled out through an open window when I had the hood up wiggling the battery cable. He was trying to avoid going to the dentist.